Hello and welcome to the Astralo News. My name is Jillian Grace and this episode is going to take you from the 10th of August continuing forward until the 17th of August. On the 11th we have a full supermoon. This will be the last supermoon of the year. Those of you who are in the Astralo class for this month you know all about how powerful this moon is going to be. For the rest of you the energy frequency is going to be very strong in the second energy center which is your lower abdomen. It's the house of your sexuality, your sensuality, your creation energy. So we are going to have an amplified amount of energy flowing through on the 11th right to that center, which is going to allow all these amazing ideas to pour into your field. Think manifestation and anything you've been wanting to manifest, being able to obtain a clear path on how to get there is going to be made much more simple on the day of the 11th. How do you tap into that information? You keep yourself aligned. And I'm going to show you some tips in just a couple seconds that will help you to stay aligned. In the meantime, not only is this the full moon energy, it's also an 11 day. Those of you who know all about numerology, following the sequence of energy throughout the earth, super important stuff. So the 11th is about coming together as a couple, being together, togetherness in general. It's about love. So guess what? This energy in this major supermoon is going to be amplified as long as you're able to find the peace within you, to keep yourself quiet and balanced, and to understand there's a higher plan. You just have to make sure that you keep your mind focused. And as if that feminine energy couldn't be any more strong on the 13th we have the Perseus meteor shower so the Perseus meteor shower is all about the divine feminine the things that we have done as the feminine energy to hold back our growth real quick side note on feminine energy it isn't just a female or a male both energies of the masculine and the feminine are present in every single being on earth so this is going to be affecting everybody not just females the Perseus meteor shower was the representation of of the ancient knowledge of understanding that women have really persecuted themselves. Women have put themselves in a role of being the victim. Women have put themselves in a place where they attack each other, where they don't support each other. And the ancient story behind Perseus really explains this and gets amplified in that celestial energy. So we're gonna be having a release of our lack of acceptance of the feminine energy and an opening to love. So keep yourself aligned. We're gonna talk about that in a second and you're gonna do awesome to move through this entire month last but not least is the conjunction with Jupiter so we have the moon and Jupiter and Jupiter is guess what another strongly feminine energy so we have nothing but the divine feminine over the next few days that energy lining up is going to solicit a lot of emotion again it is so important that you don't ride that emotion into the negative town. You have to try to keep yourself focused and feeling like you are filled with love, feeling peaceful, feeling non-judgmental, and feeling acceptance. That side of you that is the opposite is gonna be roaring up, but the more you ignore it, the more it will die off. And that's what so much of your experience here as a soul is about, learning what side of yourself you're gonna feed and then that will be the side you create from. So try everything you can to keep yourself in a positive frame of mind. Great ways to do this. It's time for some tips now. So going outside for a nature walk and grounding with mother nature. Anytime the feminine energy is big, going outside is going to be huge. Do you have to be standing in the middle of grass to ground? No. If you think about the actual structure of the earth, below the grass is a layer of rock. And then most of the core goes into rock and then goes into all different types of elements. So yes, you can go stand in your driveway. Yes, if you're in a big city, you can just take your shoes off and go stand on the concrete. All of it is equally as fulfilling. So don't shy away from it, even if it's not in your geographic area to be that obtainable to be out in nature. If you can go for a nice nature walk, of course, it's going to be awesome. Being out amongst the trees, being out amongst everything growing and all that green is going to be huge to balance you out. Also, most importantly, on your screen, you are going to see the Astrala Yoga pose that is extremely powerful to align with Pisces, which is where this moon will be, to align with Jupiter, which is where this moon will be as well, and to align with Perseus. It is incredible how profound it is when you align your body, open your meridians, and allow that energy to flow through you. Because remember, your body is made of stardust. So it's going to, of course, have a connection with its ancestors it's gonna feel that light. And when you acknowledge that there is energy moving in between you and the 
etheric field all the way up to those amazing celestial bodies, then you open up so much energy within your body to ignite. And that's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Astralo News. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share so that we can grow and spread this knowledge and awaken the collective as amazingly as we all are in the process of doing within ourselves right now.